Clippers. You know, Bebo, they say maybe this is Bebo's last Red River rivalry game. He's getting a little, Get a little, long, getting a little long in the tooth for this year. How about Nate Hibble in a scoreless game? Looking for Martin Clayton, but he is picked off by Dakari Pearson. First pick in 152 passes for Hibble, but he threw four of those babies against that Longhorn secondary on this day. Texas now, Chris Sims looking for Roy Williams. And Roy Williams playing on that gimpy hamstring, in it, and it showed up a little bit, Mark, but he makes a nice play here. This is a beautiful play. I question why he should play against Oklahoma State. I didn't think they needed him that game. Here he comes up gimpy in the first series of the game. He needed rest on that hamstring. That led to a touchdown, 7 nothing. Now Hibble was looking for Ronaldo Works, a poorly thrown ball, and a pick six for Rod Babers, who was the hero against Oklahoma State last week. 72 yards. The horns are up 14-3. to Kicking game! You must be sound. sound in the kicking game. Antoine Savage, He's Oklahoma. Oklahoma, so many athletes, the return kick, Savage turning on the Jets, 81 yards on the return. That's set up on this drive, a beautiful play by Hill. Kind of forgotten the guy, a little play action pass, Trent Smith, one of the best tight ends in the country, easy touchdown, Oklahoma. You know, Texas didn't forget him because he said in the preseason, burn orange made him cute. <laughs> Nate Hibble dropping one in there, the two-point conversion to Fagan, it's a three-point game at the half. Texas now up 17-14 in the third. Sims a little play action. B.J. Johnson just gets annihilated. And Teddy Lehman, remember he picked it off when Roy Williams hit Sims in the end zone and took it back for a touchdown last year. Lehman making the play. Now, this is the same play. Sims would throw to Johnson. But look, he's got Tony Jeffrey by himself. He never looked the safety off. Any other question on this play? He had time to throw the ball. He had at least four seconds to complete a pass. So, Hibble would then find Will Peoples. Peoples making great cuts, breaking tackles, getting across that big yellow line they've got marked off on the field so everyone knows where their first down is. Same drive, third and goal. Peoples gets it again. Bumbo. Quentin Griffin, I'll take that. Johnny on the spot. He also to the ground. See, he sees that ball right away. He does. He always scores touchdowns against Texas. Six of them a couple of years ago. Now Sims getting sacked by Tommy Harris, Texas native. Sims, incomplete pass. Tommy Harris, Texas native, wanted this game. Tommy Harris wants Chris Sims, and he got him. Late in the fourth, it's a 28-17 game, and here is Griffin again. Griffin went off, went off against that Texas defense, 248 yards, couple of touchdowns, and Oklahoma does it again. Mac Brown and Chris Sims in the Red River rivalry, 35 to 24, the final. Hibble threw four interceptions himself. Sims, three picks, he didn't get into the end zone twice. And after the game, Chris Sims once again talking about coming up a little bit short in the big game. Describe how disappointed I am. Uh, felt like we were in control of the game for the better part of the game, and, and uh, uh, you know, just you know, we put our defense in too many hard spots in the second half, and, and uh, you know, in the first half, we had some opportunities to really take control of the game and, and really put them in a, in a bad spot, and uh, we didn't do it. To look at the situation for Texas and Mac Brown and Chris Sims in the last six games against the top ten. Is there a common denominator well, in this? It, it is, and they've been close games for the most part.